dimensional fund advisors, one of the largest value managers in the world and a leader in converting mutual funds into ETFs. Gerard, thanks for joining us. Uh, assuming the Fed is indeed accelerating its taper and perhaps even accelerating rate hikes, how might this affect the stock market in 2022? What are you telling your clients? Thanks, Bob, and thanks for having me on the show. Good to see you again. Well, what we're telling our clients is look to the long term. Uh, if you're a long term investor, it's important to focus on the long term data. And if you look over the past 40 years, Bob, uh, you look at the average monthly return on the U.S. market, it's been about 1%. Now, in one-sixth of the months over the past 40 years, the Fed has raised the target Fed funds rate. And in about one-sixth of the months, it's decreased the target Fed funds rate. And it's been about 1% uh, uh, return on the U.S. market, regardless of if the Fed has raised or decreased the Fed funds rate. Today, the Fed is really telegraphing what it's planning to do over the next few months. So if it does what it says it will do, uh, you can expect the long-term uh, return on the stock market. So what we're telling our clients is stay focused on the long term and over the long pull, the U.S. market has delivered about 1% uh, a month yeah. in average returns. That has been your message for the, the 20 years that I've known you. Dimensional was one of the earliest firms to offer passive investing, but you skew towards smaller company stocks. You also skew towards value stocks. Small cap and value and small cap value have done well this year, but it's the first outperformance in a while. Uh, given the uncertainty over the Omicron variant, what is the outlook for small cap and value in 2022? Well, Bob, you've got the message spot on, and it's similar for small cap and value, which is looked to the long pull. Uh, and certainly over the past 12, 18 months, small cap and value stocks uh, have done pretty well around the world, and uh, we're pleased that our clients have been able to capture those returns. But look to the long pull, and, uh, you know, when you look at the average returns of small cap and value, uh, they've been strong on average, but they've also been strong in years after small cap and value has done well. Uh, so they tend to pull in their long-term average uh, after those years. And so again, for 2022, uh, it's the same message, which is we believe small cap and value stocks will outperform large in growth. Uh, so if you overweight your strategies towards those stocks, you should expect higher, higher returns from your stock investments.